drama time! So, for those of you that are unaware or have known about this situation going on, it is another one of those Nux defends his friends situations, and unfortunately, we're gonna have to get all, all, all heavy and sweaty with this one. Twitter is canceling Bow! You know, Bow by Fred, the wholesome whale. Well, wholesome extraordinaire. Twitter, Twitter's going crazy, canceling her. To be honest, as far as cancellations go, I would go as far as to say that this is by by all metrics not a not a massive deal, but it's mega stressful and it's Twitter being Twitter and it's funny as shit. So let's make fun of some Twitter idiots. Eh? Eh? So uh, this is a little summary done by Hero Hey. We will later be looking at uh, an actual tweet and this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Best the elf VTuber is very angry at Bao. Gets 2,200 likes. Oh my god! Bow's so fat in this picture, she's being fat phobic! Angrily tweeting. Listen, I am the force of good, alright? Listen, I've decided I will remain as the force of good on this goddamn website. You hear me? For every Twitter person that thinks they can just harass people and not get it back, I shall destroy you! Alright. As a plus size person who suffers from PCOS, I'm absolutely disheartened by this toggle, toggle, toggle. Our bodos, bodies. <laughs> why is there? Why is everyone a spelling mistake? What? Aren't a punchline for a joke, and there are many reasons people may be overweight. I am going to describe this in the best way that I can. All right. Bow made a a chubby toggle. All right. Bowberry fat toggle for uh for her VTuber model. And they are literally on Twitter trying to cancel her. Are you ready? Are you ready for this analogy? Because until now you might think, oh, maybe it's insulting, whatever. After this analogy, you will realize the absolute bullshittery that is going on. They equivalize this to blackface. It's like, you know how blackface is racist against black people? They are using a fat VTuber toggle as an equivalent to insult, the, 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 uh, to be an insult to, fat people like uh, this is insane like this is an inflation joke it's it's dumb comedy it, it you sh what <laughs> like bro wait keep going it gets even crazier so i also want want it to be known because this is just so funny all right so this is her tweet over here look at this look at this look at this. as a plus size person who suffers from pcos yeah yeah all that community note some symptoms of pcos can in fact be reduced through lifestyle changes for example Eating a healthy diet and getting enough exercise can reduce weight and reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. BCOS can cause weight gain, but good lifestyle choices can mitigate its negative effects. Wait, so you're saying that because you are not controlling your eating, you look like this and, and somehow I am not allowed to have a fat VTuber model now? Listen, listen, I know this is not the, uh, the incredibly based take for me to have, um, but... But like, but uh, yeah, this isn't like racism. One out of two. Okay, here's two out of two. It's 2024 and you have the potential to impact a large community. So why spread hate? Listen, listen, <laughs> now she's even bigger than she was before. So maybe she can even impact more people now. And shame your community. I encourage Bao to learn about weight gain and to please do better in the future. Dude, I love when people on Twitter, like idiots and brainlets on Twitter, like to tell me to do better. It's like, uh, Educate yourself. Uh, I encourage you to learn about blank and do better in the future. What What is she doing? What has she done? Has she spread hate? Dude, everyone loves the VTuber Bowberry Nog uh, model anyway. This is like the... <laughs> like, how is this? <laughs> Okay, dude. Tw VTuber community just likes to get upset about random things. It's like a clout stick. And to be fair, I mean, let's be honest, it sort of worked, right? Celeste over here got 2 million views on her tweet. Uh, so, like, I mean, I guess it was a success, right? Like, if we think about it, kind of a success. Whereas, uh, let's just scroll to, like, our regular tweet. So, this tweet, 50 likes. This tweet, 5,000 likes. It's almost like you are literally being paid back in return for getting offended over something. Do better when I send a hate brigade. I encourage Celeste the Elf VTuber to learn about online harassment and to please do better in the future. I love how everyone feels the need to uh, insult people and uh, harass people online and think that they that the other person did worse. Like, do you think that Bao has caused more harm to fat people? In total, if you add every fat person in the world together, right? 
If you compare that to what uh, an actual Twitter harassment thread does to somebody, you know how many doxers and swatters and bullshit assholes are out there that can actually put your life in risk when you make some sort of massive situation? Let's play the video. video, the video Captioned, video, 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 video. her songs completely mock plus-sized people. No! So yes, she does openly say discriminating things. Oh my god, she's so openly discriminative. Let's see the video. And these are just tiny clips. <laughs> Emphasis on tiny. <laughs> uh, keep the word tiny out of your mouth. Mouth. You are insulting us twinks when you make videos like this. I, I, I personally get offended when fat people say the word tiny. That, that was a joke for obvious. Obviously, that was a joke. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wide, wide, can't be towed. These are the girls I love the most. I mean the ones. I mean like she's a ton. Feed her, breed her, squeeze her buns. She blocks the sun, she fills the streets. A whale's been beach. I'm obese. Need to feast. At the buffet, now I'm at Chick-fil-A. Where was the mocking plus-sized people? Like, she was talking about how feed her, breed her, squeeze her buns. Like, it was a whole gimmick because she, rap god bow, you know. If anything, this was this was wholesome, I would say. Some people are like unironically rage tweeting about this actually makes it so hilarious. Oh dude, 100%. like look, you don't have to find that funny. It's fine to not like that humor or find it funny. I don't know how funny I would find it on its own, to be quite frank. I wouldn't be offended or anything. No, I mean, now I'm, it's funny. Now it's funny as fuck. Now it's hilarious as shit. Might I might find it funny, I might not. I don't know. But with this context of people getting mad about it, now I do find it funny. For yes! Sure. This, that's what, this is what I do, boy. This, this is what it is. The benevolent, chaotic overlords. This is... I just sit... And I watch. Am I making fun of fat people? No, I'm not. Have I learned from Oompaville? Maybe a little bit. But I am not making fun of fat people. Because you see, I believe fat people, much like every other person in the world, is just a person. And people should be respected and all that shit. Yeah, all right, all right. But if you're going to be disrespectful and you are going to be an asshole and you're going to send a hate brigade, then it has nothing to do with you being fat. I just think you suck. People actually taking the... Imagine someone actually seeing something like this. Uh, the, her saying, squeeze me, breed me, feet, squeeze my buns with like her uh, inflation VTuber model. And people are like, wow, my entire culture is totally destroyed. This is racism at its finest. Honestly, I think uh, if instead of going to Twitter to, to harass people over nothing, if if you decided to work out, I think that would be better for you as a person. You know, it's very possible for people to not like this and not tweet about it, right? But here they are rage tweeting and trying to drag- Listen, no one has to like it, right? The content exists. You don't have to like it, obviously. You you could ignore it if you want. You could, uh, if you want to get offended at it. I mean, you could, but then I want to make fun of you. So you see, suddenly we are in the same boat. I play by the rules given. If it is fair for you to make fun of and harass something that you just don't like, why should I not be able to do that? I'm just saying. Drag someone publicly over something that was meant to just be humor. Well, now it's even funnier. Congratulations. <laughs> so there's another clip that they're also offended about where Bao reacts to the Bowberry music video. Not sure what the full context to this is, but maybe it's as simple as that. Like, I, I guess maybe she like sung this on stream. Someone put together a music video for it and then Bao Bro, saw it and reacted dude, to it. I so think stupid. that might be it. The person who posted the other clip, including that as well, after the one that we just took a look Her at. Her songs completely mock plus size people. Uh, it's not I'm gonna cut that one short just in case the Boo. algorithm detects that and is Boo. like copy. <laughs> True, it is copyrighted. Right. So yeah, uh, but they're also mad at that, I guess. So yeah, less than yeah, further yeah. said. You can't say the word fat. The the F slur now it refers to the uh, the the homosexual slur, but also it refers to the overweight people slur. Yes. Note, we can agree to disagree. It all comes down to personal boundaries. Sometimes a joke is not meant to do harm. I fully understand that. Okay. To myself okay. and some of the community joking about conditions that may slash may not be in their control is crossing a line. I am so confused. Listen, I'm not making fun of you for being overweight. I want to be clear. I am making fun of you for being a loser. <laughs> this is a totally different thing. A 100% different thing, all right? Please stop putting words in my mouth. I didn't share I have PCOS to get sympathy points. If you want to call out Bao for being offensive, don't also at the same time talk about how I shared to explain there is medical reasons as to why some might be overweight other than poor diet slash exercise. True, true. However, you could mitigate that. And also, it's not insulting you. It's, God, this, 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 the brain rot is strong with this one. Community needs to learn. People can agree to disagree and move on. Many people in the... <laughs> agree to disagree and move on. Also, Celeste makes a massive hate threat against Bao for being fat racist. The comments also defending Bao. For example, I'm fat and I don't care if people joke about it. Based! Based fat guy! Based fat guy! Scrolling up, we got this one. 
I don't suffer from a weight-related illness, but I do weigh more than the average, 290 pounds. So I'm not sure if I have the right to speak on this, but I don't think it's personal or specifically targeted. Obviously, it's not personal or specifically targeted. It was just a gimmicky joke. I myself think it's just a funny gag. All in respect, I'm open to opinion. I am also open to opinions, but if I hear your opinions, I am also opening myself to shitting on them if they're bad. This quote tweet from Kira agrees with Celeste and reads, I am plus size. My design is such to reflect that. A fat toggle to sing about eating disorders making people fat is inappropriate and unfunny. It's cruel at the least. Oh, no. And sick if you're doing it for clicks. Dude, it's not for cl It's just for a joke. It's a joke. Oh my god, dude. Please, please. Listen, obviously that uh, some jokes do cross the line, but I don't think this one does. Obesity isn't a punchline. No hate to anyone. Do better. It's the do better. Every single person that's insufferable has to end their paragraphs with do better. Educate yourself. Do better. She makes herself fat, and then everyone gets upset. Bro, she made herself a furry, okay? But I don't see the furries losing their mind. They're just like, one of us, one of us. When if you are less based than a furry. And sick if you're doing it for clicks. Obesity isn't a punchline. No hate to anyone. Do better. In the quote tweets, Kirsch would also add some further context, saying, this has to do with a fetish called inflation. She yep. even references it in California Girls. They're so inflatable, song parody. <laughs> Uh, she has. It's, it's amazing. Piece. It's amazing. It's all about the inflation kink. And then you have, and then fat people coming out of the woodworks that uh, talk about how not all fat people are self-induced, and some fat people have diseases, and therefore, fat some fat people are a marginalized group, and therefore, this is kind of racist. I mean, they're not saying it, but they're putting it between the lines to ba basically put this on the same level as like ableist or racist or something like that. It's on a niche fetish. Imagine trying to farm victim points off this. Someone responds, further upset, saying, "You." You are aware it's more than just Celeste commenting on it, right? People are also bringing up the lyrics to said song as well. You seem to be aware of the California Girls lyrics, right? Then you are aware about the lyric involving heart disease? The lyric involving heart disease? That's that's offensive because fat people have heart disease? Question mark? I, I don't understand. Uh, you do know that obesity definitely correlates with heart disease. Like, this is a fact. First response saying anyone feigning outrage over a fetish joke is a very silly individual. Based! Based, Kirsch! Based Kirsch! We've also got this quote tweet from Liviana saying, I'm a plus size woman, and I honestly don't find anything wrong with this. Based. Personally, I don't understand the press comments. It's a joke. You don't understand the press comments? I understand the press comments. It's farming sympathy points. It's managing to throw hate on someone popular in order to build yourself up. Just like how people joke about other stuff. If you don't like it, just unfollow and block. Yeah, once again, in my opinion, anyone is welcome to not like that joke, but when you start going to Twitter and specifically targeting someone who wasn't specifically targeting you or anyone else, just trying to be funny, and you specifically like use that as an attempt to gain clout and which is obviously the case when people go on Twitter. It's just not a good uh, it's not a good look. It's not a good approach. Bow's cool and some of these people on Twitter need to stop being so weird or clout hungry. I think these people on Twitter need to get off Twitter a little bit. They need to see a little bit more of life. They need to touch a little bit of grass. That's not because they're fat. I think that is just healthy to be to do exercise. It's my opinion. You're welcome to agree or disagree. Consider letting me know what you think in the comments. Yeah. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Lastly, if you enjoyed this Bro. video, please also consider liking and responding. So that was Hero Hey. Dude, I saw Asmongold also reacted to this whole situation. Um I, I <laughs> like this is insane. Um, oh my god, bro, there's been a conversation <laughs> on Twitter. So there is a tweet that went out and it was kind of popular and it says as a plus side person who suffers from PCOS and incurable illness to call Liked? Why would you like this tweet? No! Why would you like the tweet? No, Aspen Gold, why? This is weight gain. I'm absolutely disheartened by this toggle. Our bodies aren't a punchline for a joke. Halt! Community note. Something Based! Based community now! <laughs> polycystic ovary syndrome can be reduced through lifestyle changes. Eating a healthy diet and getting enough exercise can help reduce weight and reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. PCOS can cause weight gain, but good lifestyle choices can mitigate its negative yeah. effects. So here's the clip. That, it's crazy how that, how that happens, right? It's crazy. Crazy how, like, diet can help with weight loss and stuff. Lungs openly mock plus size people. Wide, wide, can't oh, be towed. Oh, These are the girls. That's my new ringtone. I love the most. I mean the ones. I mean like she's a ton. Feed her, breed her, squeeze her bun. Oh. She blocks the sun, she fills the streets. A whale's been beach. I'm obese. <laughs> go, <laughs> go hard, yeah. And now I'm at Chick-fil-A. And so people have been crying about this. People don't understand for plus size people always been the butt of a joke. People look at us and laugh. Oh, Can't wear anything revealing because oh. someone will comment on the stretch marks. People comment, I'm skinny as fuck, right? How many of y'all- Okay, let's be real here. I think fat people get made fun of a lot more than skinny people. I think that's just, that's just a fact, right? <laughs>
<laughs> right? Like, that that has to just be a fact. Who grew up skinny as fuck, have people commented on it all the time. Also, very real picture. I used to get made fun of all the time for being super Yo! skinny. Yo! That's crazy! <laughs> Sorry, sorry, that's amazing. Uh, I can't be confident without someone immediately ruining it by commenting on how much you eat. Well, quit eating that much. What? Mi ah! <laughs> Fucking guy. This guy just going wild. I seem unharmful to you. It could be heartbreaking to somebody else. You talk about heartbreaking. How about eating that much? Harm. Talking about heartbreaking. Oh, there's so many things that are heartbreaking about this situation. I don't know. It, maybe this is just a really hot Nuxanor take that should probably not exist in video format that people won't uh, use later to cancel me for. But I think it's heartbreaking when communities like, like let's say a community that's out there just sitting there trying their best to make a uh, fat acceptance community type thing that really would like advise people against being healthy. It is not healthy to be obese. And if you work out, for the most part, not everybody, but for the most part, you can work on that and you can protect your life. And you have these communities that are out here saying you're not allowed to uh, in like tell fat people to lose weight because that's that's insulting in some way. You can't tell fat people to eat less because, oh, that's you're just making fun of fat people, a marginalized group like fat people. Bro, it is not healthy and you should not be promoting this lifestyle at all. I'm not saying you should make fun of fat people, but you shouldn't make fun of anybody. Unless they deserve it. Harmful, unharmful. So this person can't regulate their own body, but they want to regulate what other people do. And plus ah! size people are just jokes. <laughs> bro's cooking. Bro's cooking. And people want to shrug it off because it doesn't affect them. Well, no, it's because it was funny. It's like people make fun of the way that or I- Or because it doesn't hurt anybody. I think, here's the thing. Every, jokes don't always need to be funny, okay? If you don't think it's funny, that's fine. Jokes don't need to be funny. However, the joke hurt no one. So therefore, shut the fuck up. Fill your mouth with- I don't know, food or something. Not not whatever, you know. I look and like, I don't necessarily like that, but like, is it my, do I have the obligation to like tell other everybody else in the world? Nobody can make a joke about, remember this, the Jason Momoa commercial? He's making jokes about being skinny and bald and this shit was funny. Well, this is fucking hilarious, man. Fat phobia is- See, but the thing is, it doesn't need to even be funny. See, uh, this is this is where I, uh, where I don't completely agree. The joke doesn't need to be funny. It's just not hurting anybody. So who the fuck cares? Like you want to live in a world where uh, you're able to silence people for saying things you don't like, but they are now not allowed to silence you for promoting a lifestyle that they don't like. Like, isn't it kind of ironic to live in that kind of world? I don't know. This is just chaotic uh, outside viewer Nux just sitting here on the sidelines making believe I, I'm important or something. But like, dude, this is, this is so bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> real issue and it intersects with ableism fat phobia is a real issue it intersects with ableism and classism except the difference is if you're disabled you can't get undisabled and most fat people can get unfat also it's very unhealthy to be fat listen i'm not saying we should bring back fat phobia or anything all right we're just gonna end this sentence there <laughs> and classism mocking having a bias being discriminatory towards fat people and bigotry makes you a mean or bad person Dude, you think being discriminating against fat people makes you a bigot? Dude, it's like this is the, the Nazi catch-all. It's like, oh, do you think that uh, that you don't like woke video games? You're Nazi. It's more fat people getting mad. This is what my opinion is. I think these are fat- Listen, uh, honestly, as far as like different marginalized groups of people to offend, I think offending fat people might be the best because uh, it's like, like, what are they gonna do, chase you? Fat people, they're making excuses for being fat and they want to justify their own lifestyle. And like, that's fine, you can- I think it's a clout gobbling thing. I don't even know if it's uh, I, I do think to some extent it's a, uh, it's a lifestyle choice and they want to find a way to basically feel like, oh, just like it's okay to be insert minority race it's also okay to be fat justify your own lifestyle but listen it's not burger king you can't always have it your way Damn. stop telling everybody else what they can and can't talk about what they can and can't joke about because you're offended by it shut the i completely disagree i completely disagree keep doing this keep saying bullshit online that i could farm for content because as you know i hold the mantra toxic to toxic people and wholesome to wholesome people I was not allowed to make fun of you until now by my own rules. But now I can. You have put the weapon in my hand and it will never be put back away. It's the beauty. It's the beauty of the, the Nux mantra. You wait for people to do something toxic and then you just fucking go crazy. Go ham on their ass. And there's a lot of ass. Here you have Asmongal talking about, you think it's okay? 
<laughs> you think this is an acceptable lifestyle? This is an unacceptable lifestyle. Bro, you're just trying to make excuses that your lifestyle isn't degenerate at all. You're trying to talk about lifestyle. Meanwhile, Asmongold's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, this is Asmongold's house. You're just trying to make your lifestyle acceptable. <laughs> also, Asmongold. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing. I think that just like I can make fun of their lifestyle for, you know, being obese and not doing anything about it, I think it makes so much sense to also make fun of Asmongold's lifestyle because the man lives like a fucking cockroach. Uh, like, at the same time, these are both legal. They are within the rights of the Lord... <laughs> Nuxinor mantra of toxic to toxic people and wholesome to wholesome. Uh, and also, bro has a whole ecosystem in his house. Holy shit. That, that's the, the fat drama. Uh, I, I did message Bao to, to see if she's okay because, like, the, the drama, it, it, that stuff is annoying as fuck, right? Like, that stuff, it's just, it's cringe, right? Seeing people on Twitter do that stuff. Like, I get canceled weekly on Twitter. At this point, it doesn't really bother me. But it sucks to be the center of some sort of controversy or drama and, uh, with Bao's inflation model, she was not only a center of drama, but she was also a center of gravity. Definitely subscribe to join the cult of being toxic to toxic people. Uh, we wait in the bushes for them to say something fucked up and stupid, and then we make fun of them for it. Uh, that That is the mantra here. It's what we do. Bye-bye. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on game. Stay weird, fam.